Hello everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, December the 5th, right at 6 a.m. I'm getting ready to head out on the trip. I booked two cars uh, are in Columbia right now. And then I booked another one that's a little bit out of the way when I come back toward it in Mount Pleasant. Uh, it's been, it, the Mount Pleasant said a Chevrolet dealership. I've only been there maybe two times. And I'll have to call and figure out where to park at when I get there. Last couple times I went in the back way to uh, close to the hotel. It's kind of behind it. They got a road that goes in behind it. Sometimes I think there's a gate back there. It might be gated up or something on the road there. So we'll call when I leave Columbia. And after I get loaded up, I'll uh, tell you where the cars are going. I hope I have a good week. I, uh, I need one. It was being Thanksgiving, it was two weeks ago, and uh, last week I just put a couple of cars together when we didn't find nothing. I got very lucky on these loads because when I booked these three, uh, it's two orders but three cars. When I booked them, the broker called me and asked me if I wanted to trip back out, and I, I accepted that. So uh, let me go get these two in Columbia and uh, I'll tell you more about the trip. We'll, we'll, we're going to head on out. Okay. All right, if you ain't guessed it yet, I'm at uh, Lee's Transport here in Columbia. There's our sign. These are two brand new 2023 Toyota Highlander hybrids. They're gonna to go to Sebring, Florida. If I make it down there with no problem, I'll have a surprise tomorrow leaving there. But now I'm gonna backtrack a little bit to Mount Pleasant and grab one more for the same broker. Uh, at the Chevrolet dealership, like I said this morning. It's backtracking a little bit, but it's gonna drop off at St. Cloud, which That'll keep you from going to Orlando uh, area until tomorrow. I can probably drop these off by taking back. I don't know. I might go through Orlando in the morning. All right, we're going to head toward Mount Pleasant. And I'll see you at the Chevrolet dealership. All right, you can't really tell the Chevrolet dealerships through those woods right there, but that's where uh, this is Starling Chevrolet in Mount Pleasant. I came in by the Hilton there. There's a true blue Hilton or something down this road right here. Hungry man, hungry, hungry something road. I'm picking up this Colorado. I'm wasting time here. I'm taking my 30 minute break while I'm here. This is uh, got two miles on it. The one Highlander's got three miles and the other one's got two miles. This was four wheel drive. And before they do the markups, this is Right at 44,000. I'm gonna load it on this trailer real quick. I'm going to strap it down. I'll be right back. All right, I'm loading. Didn't take two minutes to get it strapped down. This may be my screenshot right here for the picture of this video. I like making these videos and going back. I don't have any subscribers yet, but I like going back and looking at what I did a few months ago or a year ago. And, uh, I don't know, I find it interesting what I did. I like this Colorado. I don't know if I like it worth that price though. I got about a few more minutes, we're gonna start heading down. I know where I would like to make it. I would like to make it to like Ornament Beach. That'll put me an hour and a half away from where this truck goes. 
And I would go further down, like Melbourne, West Melbourne, but that's actually going further south than I need to go. So I might just try to get to Ormond Beach. And, uh, I'm doing my break here because I think I'm about five hours and 20 minutes from Mormon and I can drive for six and a half more today. Well, we're going to get back in the truck and start heading that way as soon as this breaks over. I'll see where we end up here in a few. All right, we're going to see if we can get out of here. They do have one entrance that you can about dead shot right into or exit out of this little parking lot. But when you get on the asphalt road, it cuts it close into the bush. There's a tree or bush. Right here's one that you don't want to try. And there's the other one. I'm gonna make, try to make a right turn right here and go out that one. Cause it's in an angle with the road out there. And that way when I get up there on the road, I ain't gonna worry about where my trailer is. You definitely do not want to pull in that dealership out there on 17. You'll, you'll never get out of there. See how it's got a, it's tight. And this right here is right here on the road. And there's the True Blue, or True Hilton, True Hilton. In Myrtle Beach, we got a hotel called True Blue. Make a right turn. All right, we're going to start hitting the road. That road's called Hungry Neck, not Hungry Man, Hungry Neck. All right, we're here at about uh, six o'clock, just a little bit before six o'clock. Econo Lodge in Norman Beach. I was wanting to stay to sleep in, but the Econo Lodge was about $50 cheaper. This room tonight's uh, $42. So about 52 with the tax is what I paid. I stayed here all the time, used to. And last time I stayed here, I got eight up. But Kristen called and told them. And uh, she also uh, told them I stayed here a lot, so I didn't want to burn the bridge. We're on the top floor tonight, and I, want, and I wanted to be on the top floor. So we'll go in here. And I'll see you in the morning. Alright, it's a little bit after 6 a.m. And we'll get ready to head down to Starling Chevrolet in St. Cloud. I done done the pre-trip on the truck. I'm going to uh, not go toward Orlando. I'm going to take the road that's about 12 minutes longer. And you'll go down 95 and get off in Coco somewhere. And then that way I don't have to worry about turning around. They'll pull me right in front of the dealership. If I go through the toll roads through Orlando, I think I'll have to do a U-turn somewhere. So the 12 minutes uh, Head west that I'm US losing, south. I'll probably save on a U-turn. And I won't have to pay the toll fee. But my toes ain't that bad since I got the sun pass in the truck now. But we're going to start hitting the road and I'll see you at Starling Chevrolet in St. Cloud. All right, it's eight o'clock. I just made it to Starling Chevrolet here in St. Cloud. I'm on this turn lane into the dealership because it's uh, nowhere to get in the lot. So I'm going to deliver this. I'll probably be here for a little while waiting on somebody from sales to get here. I'm going to see service to take it. And uh, well, whenever I get out here, I'll see y'all in Sebring. All right. All right, I only waited around for about 10 minutes. We'll get out here and now head to Sebring. Take about two hours to get there. I'll be traveling down the road I've never been to get there today since I'm leaving from this area. I'll see you there. All right, I just got to Allen J. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would get here. But I took some of the back roads to get here. Uh, so we're going to unload these two escape or these two Highlanders right here, and I'm supposed to actually pick up three escapes here. When I booked this load, that's what I said Friday, not Friday, Monday. 
I may have a surprise. I just didn't want to jinx myself. That broker called and asked me if I'd pick up some escapes here. And I, and I'm, I told her yes. Especially this time of the year. So I'm gonna unload these real quick and I'll be right back. All right, here's the three escapes. It's leaving Mal and Jay here. I'm gonna load them up real quick and uh, start heading where they go. When I get loaded, I'll tell you where I'm going. Alright, I gotta drive one more up. These are all hybrids. They're quiet too. A lot of police cars here. Alright, I just got loaded up here. If you go right up here and turn left, right here at the end, and right out a half a mile, maybe not even that far, and turn left. You got that, that's the orange orchard. I'll ride back right here in a minute. All right, these cars go to Nashville uh, at the maintenance facility for the town, I believe is what it is. I've been there before once. And uh, when she asked me if I wanted another load somewhere, I wasn't expecting Nashville, but I go there a lot during the summer. <coughs> and it's been so slow, I'm definitely going. And uh, she's got me delivering these on Friday, so I'm not getting in no hurry. But if possible, I'll deliver tomorrow. I just got to deliver by 2 p.m. their time, so 3, 3, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And it shouldn't be a problem unless I run into trouble. Hopefully I don't. We're going to start hitting the road. I don't see how many hours I can knock out or how many miles. It's about 11 and a half hours, I think. All right, we'll see wherever I end up here in a little while. All right, we're gonna call it the night here. And I drove some hours here. Uh, I mean, I didn't make it as far as I wanted to. I'm about 60, 70 miles shy of where I wanted to go. I'm in Ashburn, Georgia. I was either wanting to make it to Perry or Macon, but my hours wasn't gonna allow me to do it. I think I had like 45 more minutes to go before I run out of hours. And I was feeling pretty good. This is before the ELD came out. This was the hours I used to love to drive. You find a good uh, station on radio and you could drive hours. But by the time you pulled over, you could, your mind wouldn't think of how to redo a logbook. I'm gonna call it a night right here and get my coat. It's got cold now and get out here in the morning early. I'm still probably about six hours away. Uh, I'd like to get out here early. I'm gonna watch the AEW wrestling for a little bit and eat at Zaxby's and go to bed. All right, we'll see you in the morning. All right, it's just a little bit past 4 a.m. We're gonna start heading up to Nashville. Try, we're going to just try to stop one time to get diesel. Hopefully, I had to done put a headlight in this truck this morning. I figured I need to walk out here earlier. It was about time. One of them things. Try to get out of this parking lot without getting stuck. We'll see you in Nashville, hopefully. Oh, right. I got here a little bit about 45 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. Here, this is where all the police cars are and the utility trucks. And the police department and fire department in Nashville's right here beside of this maintenance building but the escapes that I hauled up were for detectives so three detective cars and the airport's right over there the building over behind the camper the police camper it, it's uh took me right at six hours of driving but about seven hours to get up here 
the lake station there, when you come down Montego, was backed up. They are creating a hazard out there. All right, I don't have no idea where I'm going, so we're gonna find somewhere to park for a minute, for a few minutes, and just see if I can find somewhere to park or uh, grab to go home. See you wherever. All right, you can't really tell it because it's turned sideways, but I'm at a kind of little lodge here in Newport, Tennessee. The Loves is right here beside of me. Newport is, you got the mouth, uh, the 440 truck stop back east that way, probably about eight miles. So the border ain't, is less than probably 15 miles from here uh, to North Carolina, going into Asheville. And uh, so today when I left uh, the Nashville maintenance thing or whatever, I don't know what they call it, I did book this truck. I didn't want to, but I did. It's going to Spartanburg. I picked it up at Mount Juliet, uh, Mannheim. And I was going to video there and I decided not to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, It's gonna to go to that same dealership where I had to call the police on that one guy early in the morning for harassing me. So hopefully I can get out of here early in the morning and uh, miss that wait station that's in Asheville. Today the wait station in uh, Tennessee of our, what they were doing was insane. It sure ain't about safety, but they'll tell you it is. This little Nissan mini truck was here last time I was here. So they must work at Love's. I miss those days. All right, well, we're going to go in here and go to sleep. I'm, I'm trying to book another one through Auto Sled, but they said they never got my new certificate for insurance. But they did have mailed them one, so in the morning I'm going to still try to call about the truck if it ain't got booked. And then it'll go toward Somerville. So hopefully in the morning I can find something else around Spartanburg Greenville area. If not, no big deal. We'll, I, I don't want to pull just one home, over, but Tennessee has nothing to offer over here right now. Nothing. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Oh, right, it's about 4.30. Just checked out of the hotel. So, uh, yesterday, on the truck I wanted to book, was leaving Greenville, going to uh, Somerville. But it got picked up while they were trying to process my insurance certificate. I got a call today. I know my insurance company sent it right to them. And he said they'd immediately process it as soon as they got it. But uh, I missed out on that one. So I'm gonna, I had to take this truck to Spartanburg. The reason I'm leaving early is try to miss that lake station in Asheville. I don't want to be held up there today. And I did look at the load board. And I didn't mess up by leaving Mount Juliet early because there wasn't nothing that got posted last night either. It's just dead over here. Uh, but we're going to head home or head toward home. And if I find something from Spartanburg, Greenville, Columbia going back that way, I put a bid in. I didn't put a bid in. I put in to accept the load, but they ain't approved it from Columbia to Mar Marion. And I don't know if they will. I ain't never hauled for them that broker anyway we're gonna get the trip started and hope everything goes well all right all right it's 7 a.m got a crest in the moon i'm gonna drop this off at the gmc i'm here at wakeville in spartanburg this is a little bit more daylight than what it was last time i was here last time i was here it was five in the morning 5 30 or something but this one goes to the gmc store so let me get it dropped off. I haven't even looked at the load board coming down the mountain and I did not get stopped up there at the wait station although it was open. The pre-pass sent me by. Everybody else is going in. Uh, we'll see where I end up today after I get this unloaded. I'm gonna start heading toward Columbia and uh, get diesel somewhere. And uh, we'll see. I'll see you later on. All right, it's Friday about 11.30, so just a little bit before 11.30 in the morning. I didn't find nothing else. It's all right, though. It's still a good week. 
I hate to come all the way back from Nashville just for one though. But that's the way Tennessee's been to me the last couple trips I've made over there. That's why I ain't been going as much. And used to, you could pull a lot out of Nashville, just like Statesville. I used to go to Statesville a lot. But the auctions ain't as pulling out as much as they used to. The, it's the, to for me, what's helping is the utility yard. Sometimes you can get a good load out of them utilities. So hopefully something like that pops up again for next week. I'm going to be looking today. I'm hungry. I'm going to get ready to go here and eat. I hope you liked the video. Even though I didn't get much back, it was probably one of my best weeks that I've had this year. Uh, the, the, uh, Profit-wise, on, on the profit. And now, I, I did do a lot of miles on it. Uh, and let's see. I started off buying... 200 of diesel, then I did 150, then 100 in Florida, and then before I got out of Florida, I did another 100. No, I only bought 100 in Florida, and then when I got to exit 18 in Georgia, I bought 175, and then yesterday I bought 125, I think, and then this morning I spent 80 on diesel somewhere around in there i think it was probably about seven or eight hundred dollars in diesel that i bought and three hotel stays my hotel stays for the whole week ended up being like 180 dollars altogether if that if that all right we're gonna call it today and start looking for next week since christmas is coming up i take the last week of december off and go to keys that week so we'll see uh next week sometime wherever i head going. Hope you like the video.